All right, well, I just finished putting in this, uh, my joystick for the Player 2, and I actually got today in the mail the uh, Zero Play kit from, I think, um, JB Gaming or something like that. I have to look it back up and link to it, but anyway, I figured I would uh, film putting this together. He has a video of it already, um, but the first thing you, you, you need to do, and actually, I think I'm going to, because you can tell how this one had the, um, because I soaked it in evapor rust, it took off all the anodized finish and stuff like that. I'm sure it's fine and it won't rust, but I'll probably just use this one, which was out of my Stargate um, instead. So you kind of have those two pieces. And the first thing you want to do is um, kind of slide it in here and make sure it fits. And it does. I don't know what that other hole is there for. Um, and then you want to put on, I think, one of these, one of these little, um, rubber grommets, I guess, or something. Oh, whoops. <laughs> and then, uh, put it in here. And you're trying to see if, you know... Just see if it's too wiggly or something like that, I guess. Did he say to put two of them on, potentially? Yeah, I think so. If it, if you need two, I think you kind of put two in there. It's kind of wiggling back and forth. I might have to go back and watch his video again. Do you put two of these on there, potentially? definitely feels better I'm just gonna watch this video real quick and make sure you can put two of them All right yeah so just one walk one o-ring there let me take that off so one o-ring you kind of I guess work it work it in there so you don't see it see the o-ring probably And then this other O-ring goes on this side. I'm just gently, gently pushing it in there. That looks pretty good. And then it said take one of the thicker washers, which I think is this. Those look pretty thin. And then I guess you can you're really trying to see how many washers you need to make it a tight fit, I guess. I'm going to try a thin one on top of that. That seems pretty good. I mean, I can't move it at all. So the, I think that's you, we fitted the um, the handle, which is good because there's there's no movement at all inside there. So we're good with that. Let me put these washers to the side, and then um, let's see, there's other washers in here too. Are they the same size? Because then you need to put. These bad boys like that. So let me take this off. I did watch his video 
once. And now I probably already forgot. Dang, that's tight. I didn't lose that. Okay, and then let's go like this. Yeah, this is how we're doing it right here. So that's definitely too loose in there. So that's when you want to put these other washers in there. All right, let me think about this. All right, I don't, I don't remember exactly where I left off, um, but let's see here. What you want to do is you want to put, um, we're going to put one O-ring onto your uh, joystick handle. And then basically, just like we did, you know, you, you test fit it to figure out what washers you need to make it a tight fit. And we already did that. We have these two washers right here. Um, he has different size washers. And you know that... These bigger wash, the bigger hole washers will fit over the joystick, whereas these I don't think will. Yeah, see, these, the ones that have the hole where you can't fit it over the joystick, those are for um, the pivot arm right there. And so that's where we're at now is we're going to actually, I have them uh, split up into different sizes. Where's my other one at? That's not it. Oh, I must have used one. Um, so anyway, so we're going to use, it doesn't really matter which one we use, I guess. Let's use this one. And what we want to do is take this, um, bearing right here and you're going to put it to the bearing side like this. Uh, the bearing goes towards the metal like that, and there's an indentation there. And the other one comes on this side. Like that. And basically, it not he doesn't have this in his video, but the, the square side ends you're going to use in a defender joystick, and the rounded side ends you're going to use in like Joust or, or um, Stargate as an example. So we can tell that this is too loose, right? It just slides in there, there's nothing going on. So that's why we need to add a couple of these right here. So we're gonna start with the bigger, thicker ones. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think I separated them just based off of feel. I ended up ordering a digital caliper, but it's not here because I figured that'd be useful for um, doing this kind of stuff in the future. So we put that on there, and now we have a little bit tighter fit, and we want the holes, the round holes, so the rounded side holes to line up, so it would kind of be at an angle like this. And on this side, it'd be like that. So this one's pretty good, I mean I can still move it around a little bit, and the other thing you want to check is to make sure that it's kind of centered in your pivot arm so you kind of have the hole there and I can tell it's a little bit to the right it's a little bit this way I don't know if you guys can see that it's probably a little difficult to see but if I put my joystick handle in there it 
looks like it's a little bit offset going this way. So I was going this way, so going that way. So we want to potentially move it this way. And so let's take this bigger washer off here. We'll add one over here and one over here. Let's see how we how this looks. Yeah, it's def definitely more centered now. The the stick is more centered in that hole. If you get whoops, if you guys can see that, not really. Kind of difficult there, but it's definitely more centered. And we're kind of checking too. We want to wiggle it back and forth like this, and there's still. A little play. I think we want to add so, a little bit more washer to make it a little bit tighter. Yeah. Let's make it a little bit more tighter. And we're going to go with the the thinnest on both sides. And this is these washers are really for, you know because there's different manufacturing tolerances I guess or each you know each joystick holder might be a little bit different so this is definitely a snug fit there I don't know if that's too tight. There we go. We're, we still look centered. Put our joystick in there. Looks definitely better. I wonder if it's too tight, but I don't think so. So really, that that's it. And then we're going to put this in the cabinet, and um, it's going to be hard to kind of get the the washer in with it fully assembled. Um, this will slide on like this. Oh, this is one way to know if you got it too tight. Like I've almost expanded it to the point where I can't get this thing on. So I think I need to take out some washers. Do I? Well, I got it on there. But it's real tough to move now so yeah let's let's take out some washers probably have it too tight so
back to this. Go back in. Look like that. Okay, that's better. I think that's good. that's really nice. Yeah, there's not a lot of play in that at all. Just a little bit, but not much at all. So I think I think we're gonna go there. Make sure this moves freely. It's a little it's a little bit of binding there actually. I might go even looser than that. I want to, I want it to be able to move completely free freely, so we'll take off this one. This one, I'll just leave it like that. Oh, that's too loose. Too loose too. Let's do the thinnest over here. Make sure we're still centered. Looks good. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't like that. It's binding up a little bit. Alright, that's that's where I'm leaving it right there. There's no binding at all. Be right back. Okay, yeah, I, I went ahead and put the screws in. 
um, because I could sense that the binding, there was some binding happening on the on this. Should definitely be able to move freely, you know what I mean? And um, it was happening with or without the washers. So I just, I took the washers out. And honestly, I, and then um, once I tightened this down, it pulled the bearing assembly um, back towards the, um, the frame of the, the joystick frame. So then it wasn't binding anymore. So as I was applying pressure, the, the bearing assembly was pressing up against the pivot and it was binding up a little bit. But as I screwed the screws in, it pulled that um, assembly back a little bit. And I think we're good. Now, the only problem is, is I can't put this in the joust like this. I actually have to get the joystick through first, which is going to be somewhat difficult. So let me pause, take these screws out, and... Um, yeah, and and go to the the game real quick. All right, I figured we'd try a different angle this time. Um, I'm gonna try to get this mounted in. Before, and then put the joystick handle in. I think there it's definitely gonna be difficult to get the the screws from the underside in there. I already tried to like put the joystick through, like take this out and pivot it 90 degrees, but there's not enough clearance with the with the recess there um, to do it. A ground strap under there too so see and I, I don't I think I did put it I ended up putting um a couple washers in there but it's not binding right now so I kind of like it like that so it's I don't want any binding or anything anything that's going to restrict the movement I'd rather it be a little loose than than too tight all right let's get the joystick in so we have our rubber grommet right here. We're gonna come through. The side there and gently push it in there, okay. We're gonna put our, oh, I need a grommet, I'll be right back. Yeah, O-ring. Not a grommet, O-ring. Put our O-ring on there. There we go. Just push the O-ring in uh, just a little bit, very gently with that screwdriver there. Then I'm going to put my big washer, my thicker washer, I mean, and then my thinner one that I pre-measured. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Okay, so I have my joystick in now. Um, let me go get the other part there. 
Okay. Got that. Crap, I keep forgetting parts. Now I need to get the screws. Be right back. Okay, let me make sure I have that one's right. Get my the holes lined up here. That's right. Yeah, it looks like the holes are lined up. Now this is the part that's going to be a pain here. Might need to get that wire harness out of the way. Whoops. Hard to do it with uh, while filming this thing here. I think what I'm going to have to do is get like a Yeah, I'm definitely in the hole, so But for the underside, I'm going to have to get like an L-shaped wrench or something. Almost like a screwdriver socket or something. It, it might be easier instead of having a Phillips if, um, if it was a small like quarter inch socket. Because like I, you can't really get to that uh, without a drill bit. Let me see what I can come up with here. All right, well, I was getting uh, frustrated because I couldn't really get it, so I ended up undoing it, and sure enough, there's, there must be a difference with the distance here than the stock joystick. With the stock joystick, I couldn't take it out with the handle inside and turn it like this, but I just did it, so, which is good because I was definitely getting frustrated with that, so we'll just put this on and this way I can because I removed um, one of the it's a little bit looser now it's like barely in there the, the uh, pivot arm and stuff because I removed one of the washers I just think it has a tendency to or at least for me it's having a tendency to bind up a little bit which is um I mean can't have that so, but at least now I'll be able to 
you know, get, get uh, if I can work around this camera. Get everything aligned up. Like that. Yeah, I mean, it was impossible to do it the way we were doing it, or the way I was doing it before. And you just want to make sure that the you're screwing it into the to the round side hole. I'm just going to get them all started here. We can find all the bolts here. Okay, so I figured out what was going on because I was getting frustrated still, man. I mean, this thing is is a beast, right? So, um, sure, you, you can get enough slack so you can turn this around, but then my round, the round part of the bearing assembly won't line up. As soon as I line that bearing assembly up and give it some slack so I can line it up, then I don't have enough room. Um, if, if I... Try it. Let me do it here. All right, so I have that one in, and to to get that up, I actually have to put it in inside the um, recessed hole there. Let me see if I can find my. Where's my other screw at? If I get it, I'm gonna. I just lifted it up so the the round part is up. Crap. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. It went into the hole. So right here, I don't. This is probably a good shot if you can see it. But right now, the square side will line up with the hole, but I can't push it up any until I give it some slack within the recess for the joystick assembly. And then, and now I don't have enough room. Now I have it assembled correctly, but I can't, I mean, I'm just like a one sixteenth or something inch, you know I mean? That I can't turn the damn thing around to actually screw it in, so. What I think you might need to do is basically unscrew this other side that's going to be facing forward to give yourself some room. Yeah, go ahead and screw this side in, then turn it around, pop it in, and then get that side. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to screw this side all the way in.
Damn, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. Still don't have a damn enough slack. So basically, putting this into a joust is not as easy as a Stargate, or I might just take um, take the one, there we go, that's mostly in anyway, on that side. And now that we're back into the, the recess for the hole, Should line up okay. Yeah, that's a that's a bitch. Freaking pain. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if Joust is worth the zero play kit. Unless somebody unless I'm doing something super stupid or something. Yeah, now it's kind of binded up. That's what I'm saying. Now it's it's actually bound up a little bit. Make sure I'm in the right, yep, I'm in the right holes. completely bound up now. Okay, I, I took um I took it apart and out of the cabinet and just test assembled um, the zero play kit again and I figured out um, what was causing the binding was the actuator part of the pivot and you can see here the, the clearance is I barely have enough you know clearance let's see if you can see that right there now it's good and it's moving freely but what was happening is um, I had to take out the shim washers on this side because it was pushing, as I would assemble it and tighten the joystick assembly together, it was pushing this all the way against um, the joystick assembly and it was grinding right there. So I needed to push it this way a little bit. So I put two washers on this side and no washers on that side. And that does kind of impact the centering of the hole um, of the pivot assembly with the joystick assembly but it's still not um, rubbing if you put the joystick in. So put the joystick in and it, if I can do that, there we go. Um, we should still be okay. So it is a little bit to the left. My arm is creating a shadow there, sorry. It's a little bit to the left that way um, but anyway I am not going to try to put this in my joust instead I'm going to put um, the zero play kit in my stargate and take my um, arcade shop uh, reproduction out of my stargate and put it in the joust so that's what we're going to do I'm not going to try to assemble this thing with it you know sideways in the joust because it seemed like it was a, just too much of a pain in the butt so all right I took out uh my Stargate uh, reproduction um, arcade shop joystick um, 
what do you want to call that, frame or something, joystick holder or whatever. Um, but one of the things I did is I actually put one of those rubber grommets on the top side before it went into the pivot joint. Um, even, and I just want to show you this. I'm going to do it to this one too. So just check check out how firm that is. I'm, I'm touching it. It's moving a little bit. Almost no movement that way compared to this one, which is the arcade shop. You know, definitely a lot looser, right? So I'm going to take one of those um, O-rings from the Zero Play kit and actually put it on this ball and put it back in. And show All right, it. I'll try to film this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, to get this thing out of there. Basically, I'm going to remove the E-clip if I can. There we go. And we're going to put a rubber grommet on this real All quick. Right. I don't know why I keep calling it a grommet, but it's a, a O-ring. And um, JB Gaming, I think that's the name, um, he sends a few extras, so it's actually kind of cool, but I did lose one. So we're going to just put that O-ring on there like that and then stick it back through our hole. And now we need to put our washer back on. I think you can see that inside there, yeah. Washer inside that right there. And then the e, um, right, the e so let's get the washer on like that. And I think I came from the side to get the E-clip. I think it's easier if I go from the top like this. I think. Nope, didn't get it.
yeah, it's in there. So hopefully, I don't think my head was in the way, and hopefully you could kind of see that a little bit. It's, uh... Yeah, so I think that's a lot better. Let me see if I'll take this off real quick. Let's put the, sorry, put the control panel up. And now check the, going that way, there's almost no movement at all. Now you still have a, a little bit of movement this way, which is from really the, the pivot point, but that O-ring really tightened that thing up. I mean, you can see I'm tapping it and it's not moving it really much at all. I mean, there is some movement this way, but that's the whole pivot uh, point of the joystick, so. That really helped, that's, that's nice. All right, so now to put in the zero play kit into the Stargate, which I hopefully will be a little bit easier. All right, actually, before um, I put in the, the zero play kit, which I have ready to go, um, I, I actually picked up this easy, Easy Cow, um, yeah, here we go. This Easy Cow digital caliper from Amazon. It's not too expensive, and you can. Looks like it actually has an auto off, which is nice <laughs> because I left it on. Um, see, can you see that? Yeah, the, there's a little bit of a glare, obviously, but um, because I was trying to measure that with a darn ruler. So what we can do is this is actually my Stargate one and avoid the glare there we can just kind of measure the opening of the hole that's about 15.1 on that one this was joust player 2 14.34 and this was uh joust player 1 Right? Wasn't this Joust Player One? No, I'm sorry. This was um, Star. This is Stargate, fourteen point two eight. That was my original Stargate joystick. All right, sorry, fourteen point seven. And Joust Player One was like fifteen point something. You know, not perfect, but a better measurement than what I was getting before. And Jazz Player 2 was is definitely the least worn out of all of them. Um, the other thing we could do is, like, measure uh, the holes as well. Like, this, uh, this hole right there where the pivot arm goes. 6.78 on J Joust Player 1. 6.8, what was this one, 6.8, Six, almost 6.9 there, so yeah, you, you get the idea, I'm not going to do all of them, um, but the other thing I thought was interesting was measuring the, uh, the pivot um, part itself, and this one is my original Stargate. 6.1 on that side 6.19 so they wear a little bit unevenly and this is a uh, joust player one Th look at how much wear this thing had oh, actually that's not bad 6.2 maybe I have them backwards no 5.9 am I right about that Yeah, I think that's right. Who knows, I'm getting all confused. Six point two. It's a little bit more accurate probably if you come up here a little bit. Six point two. Six point three. 
6.1 compared to well it doesn't really matter what these are from um, from the zero play kit because they fit inside bearings so anyway just thought that was interesting and you could you know do measure this hole too I mean I was just going to do it just to see what the reproductions one ones were like um, in comparison that's a that hole is 6.2 versus almost 6.4 so you can definitely at least if you have a lot of pieces together you can kind of put the best ones together or something like that to make a, a, a firmer fit but this joust player 2 one I bet is the least worn out of all of them so this is the one that um, I'm gonna hang on to for a while I'll hold hang on to all of them but um, anything else I want to show no we're ready to go I'm just gonna put in my zero play kit um, into Stargate and so let me I already have it kind of assembled to go with this and and we'll I'll just put it bring the pieces over to Stargate and we can put it actually before I go over there um, what I'm gonna do is I, I actually went ahead and used the frame uh, the joystick frame from uh, Joust Player One, which is really the worst off, you know, hole-wise, um, because it's not going to matter how badly worn uh, these holes are from the pivot point or the uh, top part. It's not going to matter because we have a new, you know, it's all about the uh, zero play kit inside there. So I went ahead and used the worst one, um, and you know, shimmed it up and everything, and you can see that I have some clearance there with this arm right there because that's what was binding up and this one's you know the lower portion of the joystick assembly uh, is on there tighter so it's definitely but it's still not binding at all so that is was my problem is that when when I would put it in the cabinet this thing would get this actuator would get pushed all the way up against that part of the assembly and it would start to bind up so all right so let's go put this in the cabinet all right so we gotta put this in here let's see i think that was like that and it's a little bit different on the stargate there's no um T-nuts that are embedded into the panel. It's just these wood screws here. Hopefully you can see this somewhat decently. So maybe I could do it without the... Alright, so that's in there. And now we need to grab the... I'll be right back. I need to grab the um, joystick handle. Alright, there's the joystick handle. I already have the rubber grommet on it. For some reason on Stargate, I have two of these spacers 
we're just going to kind of stick it in there. Then we need to use our other rubber grommet. I mean, gosh, I keep calling it grommet. Um, O-ring. Get our other O-ring on there. Probably should, could make that a little tighter, but it's all right. Big washer. It might be too tight, I'm not sure. Nope. Got it in there. He clips in, okay? Now we need to put this on. See this uh shadows kind of wacky, huh? Let me see if I can get some better right. light. So now we just have to make sure that we're doing the round side, lining up the round side of the the holes there. The, um, I don't know what you want to call that, the... Okay, I'm getting it somewhat started there. Very difficult with the light and the way and everything for me to see what I'm doing. All right, I don't. I had to actually take it off, take out one of the, um, took the whole thing apart and took out one of the spacers. For some reason, Stargate has two of them, and the zero play kit was kind of pushing up, maybe. I don't know how that's possible, but anyway, it seemed like it was rubbing on uh, one of the spacers was rubbing underneath the, the CPO. So I took that off, but the key here is basically just usually these will snap in the, um, the bearing holders will just snap into place kind of, and you would tighten it up so it stays put, but I kind of didn't do that. And you just have to adjust it and make sure that it's 
kind of on the round side for Stargate. I think a squ the square part of the bearing holder is for um, Defender and the round side is for start everything else pretty much. And you just want to make sure that, you know, you got it, you know, in there good. I also took out, took off one of those um, leaf switches so that I could uh, get that in there. Still, still moving good. Should be fine. It is just plastic, so I'm kind of... Hmm. Yeah, it's going in there. Let me pause and make sure that I'm not got it doing in. anything bad there. Just uh, was kind of at a bad angle or a weird angle. So now we want to put our leaf switches on and we need to put in some felt, metal, like that, then metal. felt new switch oh crap did I forget something yeah I must have just found that didn't fall off did it damn did that o-ring come out did I forget to put it back in No, I don't think I forgot. There might have been one that I had left over. I don't know. Well, if, if I forgot to put it back in, whatever. I'm not taking it back apart. And then this leaf switch we gotta put back on. That's good enough. All right. Let's uh, control panel up. 
Hopefully I didn't forget to put that O-ring in. I'll have to go back and rewatch the tape real quick. Or actually, maybe I wasn't filming, was I? Oh yeah, there's nothing. That thing is tight as can be. That feels real good. So the the lesson there is, I think it's easier for the zero play kit to go into the Stargate or Defender because you really need to be able to screw in the other part of the joystick assembly after you put the joystick in, I think. Um, maybe you could do it the other way, I'm not sure. But this is a, this is super nice. Yeah, that's gonna be that's real nice. Cool. All right, that's it.